Charlie Hebdo was one of the, the only French uh, newspaper, I guess, who decided to publish some, some pictures, and when I say some pictures, some, some drawings of uh, the Prophet. I don't know if it was clumsy or something good, and I don't want to think of this today, because it, it's not the question today. Uh, for me, they had the, 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 the right to make it, because it's something pretty important in, in France. You have the, the right to, to, to think what you want, and um, if, you, if your mind is not hurting uh, other, other people, I mean, if your mind uh, doesn't hurt bodies, it's okay. Okay, in France, we, have that, we, are supposed, we are supposed to have that freedom of expression, but if you look at Sincerely, who use, who is using that freedom of expression in France? Charlie Hebdo and potentially two or three other newspapers. For me, there are many shocking pictures I can see daily on TV, on TV screens, may on, uh, in advertising, on, uh, in the newspapers. So there are many, many, many shocking things. For me, much more shocking than, the, than Charlie Hebdo was publishing. Charlie Hebdo is going to publish again next week. They're going to print a million copies, they say. Uh, what do you yeah. think about that? That's cool. They're alive. They're alive, he said there. French illustrator Loic Cesseras talking to me a little bit earlier on. Well, Patrick Blower is a long-standing political cartoonist at London's Evening Standard newspaper. His work has also appeared in Private Eye, The Guardian and The Telegraph. And Patrick, you've drawn your own response to what happened in Paris yesterday. Just describe it for us. Well, I'm keen on spoofing um, familiar images. So for this one, I thought it was quite appropriate to take Asterix the Gaul, the, and I replaced the, the Roman soldiers, the, the tyrants, with black-clad uh, jihadis, and replaced Obelix and Asterix sword with them wielding the mighty pen. And to me, it's the plucky Gaul, um, kind of expressing the Je suis Charlie, you know, uh, meme that's sort mm. of become so dominant. The hashtag. Yesterday. The hashtag. Yeah, hashtag, hashtag rather, yeah, people yeah. are repeating. The thing is, the magazine Charlie Hebdo seems to go a lot further than we're used to experiencing when we read the likes of Private Eye and others in the UK. Would you ever go as far as to draw pictures mocking the Prophet Muhammad or the Pope or other religious figures? Uh, yes, I would, is a short answer. I mean, however, there are several aspects to this. I, whether I would draw something as perhaps you know as gratuitous, as gratuitous, gratuitously offensive, I would want to make a point. I don't think any subject is off limits for a cartoon, but I I think you have to try and make a valid point, hopefully with humour and precision. It's, it's it's difficult. You don't always hit the target. Um, however, we're in a different position now, and therefore, to quote you know the greatest ever Frenchman Voltaire, I, I may not foot. I, I may or may not. Uh, uh, enjoy the Charlie Hebdo cartoons, but I totally defend their right to do them. And I think at this stage, as this incredible Just We Charlie sort of campaign um, has has proven, that this people people are behind it unanimously. Yes. On the grounds of freedom of speech. And we've also seen the people on the French streets, but also the pens they've been leaving to signify the pen is mightier than the sword. Do you think this will lead to more political cartoons, more? Illustrators in response to what's happened wanting to take up the pen and uh, let people know what they think I'd hope so. I also hope at least more people drawing. I mean not with you know in irrespective of political cartoons drawing is just a, a fantastic uh, you know weapon for, or, and a tool for anything mm. and it's it is amazing how That the pencil has become the symbol and also almost the act of drawing I mean I've seen on various Twitter feeds amateurs have as I don't I don't use that patronizingly, but People well, they're not paid like you are yeah. to do the job, yeah. Have posted their own drawings. And actually, it's, it's the sentiment behind it rather than the content, which is that it's, it's we draw because it's now an act of defiance. And I think that's, that's an incredibly healthy thing for a, for a liberal democracy. Patrick, many thanks indeed. Okay.